Get ready, world, because Campbell Colgate Star is ready to rise again. Rise. Blackout. <laughs> How did you ever find me? I thought I had efficiently dropped off the face of the earth. Hey, that, that tough old broad upstairs, she wouldn't let me up to your room. It said I, said I had a wake down here. Mr. Colgate may not want to be disturbed. I don't want you, some kind of big shot or something. <laughs> Mrs. Sherman genuinely cares. Yes! You know how long I've been here? Living and writing in the Providence Arms. I got this to show for it. The great American blank page. The true and unvarnished memoirs of Chas McCluskey, the Idiot! Uh, why do you have such an odd... You have such an opulent... I don't know why I can't remember. Opulent, twisted fantasy life. You have such an opulent, twisted fantasy life. I, I know, but I just wanted to feel those curves. See how much I could... Feel the... Grasp the skirt. Grasp the skirt. And grab the what? Grasp the skirt of Grasp the skirt of something? Go ahead. Happy chance. Of happy chance. How does one truly see for himself? This is George Wilkins. Yep, George Wilkins. But it, his writings? Is it possible? Do you realize what you're saying? What this could mean? Yeah, that I made your day. If I lived in an apartment, there'd be a washer and dryer in the basement, and, and therefore I wouldn't use a laundromat and we never would have met. Oh. And thus your visualization of my living in an apartment and bringing you back here for sex on a throw rug or on a bed that was closer to the window than this bed is was, was purely flawed from the onset. Oh. Because if I lived in an apartment, we never would have met, you see. Matter? I gave it up. 
Nobody in Scranton cares who I might have become. You didn't give it up. You wrote it down in every goddamn detail. And poetry and short stories and essays. My story to tell, not yours. But you're not telling it. You're burning I'm it. I'm not. I'm not going to get angry. Look, just because I sold you my story doesn't mean you owe me. If you want the rest of it, it's going to cost you a lot more than a week's rent at the Providence Arms. Why? Stop it. Stop it, Millie. Stop it. That song brings back horrible memories. Of what? Of, of selling millions of records? Of, of chicks screaming your name? Of, of, of millions of autographs of your mug plastered all over every record store? Uh, no, maybe of a, a psychotic fan whipping out a chunk of my scalp at that autograph signing in Des Moines? Oh, yeah, that crazy broad. Nice tits, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Millie, it still hurts. As a matter of fact, it's time to take my painkillers now. Oh, One over there. One over there. You just go get it. Oh, my God, a ghost. Um, hey, listen, all right? Okay, okay. Forget Bob Doppler. We start right. shooting in a month. The set. Oh, the set is fantastic. Giant flowers everywhere. <laughs> Lots of flowers. Lots of glitter. Oh. Where do you see? Where do you see the outfit you're going to wear for the first show? Need a little mirror. Pale blue. <laughs> Sequin lapels. Real high class. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I haven't even signed the contract yet. Or looked at it. <laughs> Were I with thee, wild nights would be our luxury. 